against Arsenal is, is, um, is a big, big positive. But disappointed that we've made a mistake and um, unfortunately left herself open and, and got punished. Steve, what happened when Jack Wilkins came on? He went into centre midfield and we were sat near you and you seemed furious with someone. That's... What happened? I think it's just a, a, a lack of communication with him. You know, we we wanted to put Matt Ritchie inside and play him in the, his position, and um, he only played there for two minutes really until we got the information down to him to where he wanted to play. Um, so that was quickly sorted out. Not a problem. You knew what his job was going to be like, Steve. There's already questions about tactics and motivation and formation that you were playing. Does that surprise you after one game? Well, I mean. <laughs> Formation, we've played it, and something which um, I think that suited us. Um, and of course, the only change it really is when we got win a goal down. So in the last 20 minutes, we're just trying. We're a little bit open. I can understand that, but um, I thought if you look at it and analyse it against a really good Arsenal team, apart from the goal, they haven't really created a chance. So. I understand that, but I understand that there's always going to be criticism here. That's part and parcel of it, but I think it would be wrong to criticise because we had a go in the last 15 minutes and um, left ourselves a little bit stretched, but when you're chasing the game, it's always difficult, and uh, that's what we were trying to do. You created chances in the first half, probably edge the first half. Was it a little bit disappointing, the response to the goal, that you didn't really trust the keeper? Yeah, I mean, there was nothing in the game full stop. Stop, stop here, and I thought we had the better chances in the first half, um, but didn't really create anything in the second half. But I think it was the type of game of what it was. It was difficult, difficult conditions. Um, but both sides really failed to create a real goal-scoring opportunity. Do you think it was just, you just sorry, do you like that, con that confusion that Williams had when the goal happened? Um, there was a link there, because he sort of seemed to be unable to anticipate the pass for Bullock I think, listen, we've made a genuine mistake whether the whether the pass was too short or whether he's, he's been rapid, quick enough at the end of the day. I can't criticise anybody for making a mistake. I thought he was too high up the pitch. I thought his position at the start with was too high and made the ball longer than what it should have been. And um, if that's a criticism, then um, that's something what we can work on. And as I've said, the reason why most of them weren't playing today was they've only been here four or five days. So the longer we get and the longer we've been working together, we can iron out those things which obviously need to improve. Was John joined you, Steve? Yeah. 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 Why is his injury and how serious is it? We don't think it's too serious, but it, he was restricted in his movement with it, but um, we don't expect it to be too bad. Was Kate injured? No, he just wasn't part of the squad today. Did that impact in the final half hour when you were short in centre midfield? You didn't have a centre midfield at the call on, but you had full back four well, on the bench? Well, Jetro could have Jetro could have played a midfield if I'd wanted to, and of course, Matt Ritchie is something that I've that we've seen play in there too. So um, we had a knock to uh, Dummett, and we had um, a warning over the cells this morning. He wasn't feeling too great, so I just thought it was important that I had two central defenders on the pitch uh, on the bench because, um, as I said, Dummett yesterday was a little bit doubtful. And um, the sales wasn't very well this morning, so that's what we were guard against. How did it feel to manage Newcastle here? Well, I'm disappointed with the result, of course I am. Hugely disappointed with the result, but it's the way, um, it's the manner of it, because we've, we've given a sloppy goal away. If Arsenal open you up, play 2 one twos and, and put in the back of your net, then sometimes you can, you can um, applaud the opposition. But to give a bad goal away we did is, is the disappointing thing of the whole day. Well, it was an, it was an awful, an awful day. Um, they wanted the see team to win, of course, and um, and maybe in the second half we didn't give them enough. I didn't think we used the centre forward well enough in the second half, in particular. I thought we could have got it to them a bit quicker than what we what we tried. Um, but overall, I was I was pleased with their effort and endeavour. Um, we give the ball away a little bit too cheaply for my liking, and then that cost us. Create a few chances, though. First, first half, half first half we played. Uh, first half we played very, very well, and um, 
yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't sustain it for all the all the game. Do you think in, in time, Jalen might maybe find that extra touch and things will drop a bit? <laughs> well, I'm quietly convinced that he'll be a, that he'll do very very well. He was the one he brought down and he moved it. He only had to be a yard either side and he scores. And we're talking about a different thing, but we've seen enough. It's now now we need to go to work and um, and then and bed the new players in who have already been here four days. So. You know, they'll get used to the Premier League and used to the new surroundings, and that's got to be the, the next the next step. Bruce, um, well, that was quite a tight match, and you know, like that uh, last minutes, uh, last ten minutes was really tight. But you didn't you just have substitution and you kept Newton on the bench. What's the thought behind? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Well, well, we had three people on the pitch who I thought, yeah. It was we had three strikers on the pitch, so it was all about trying to find a balance. And um, Muto's done very, very well since I've come into the club. I haven't used him today, but he's very much part of my thoughts. That's for sure. Okay, thank Steve. you. Come on. Sorry, I just wanted to ask. Obviously, in the run-up to the match, there was a lot of sort of uncertainty as to you know the the, the protest and what have you, and how many would be in the stadium. But you must have been sort of quite pleased with the atmosphere and, and the way that the fans sort of took to the team. <coughs> Since I've been here in the last three and a half weeks, everybody who I've bumped into has been nothing more than positive. And look, there's nothing I can do about people protest. I've said it many times now that they're entitled. They earn the hard-earned money and they're entitled to protest. Everybody is. The one thing I need to do is work hard on the training ground to give them a team that they enjoy watching and they enjoy seeing. The effort and the endeavor today was, was there for everybody to see. We um, we made a few mistakes, and that's cost us. But overall, if we we can improve, then my job is to is to get the supporters back on side and and um, enjoy watching that team, which what makes them quite unique. They're quite unique support, and um, I'm sure that will come. It's still early days as well, of course, and um, you would, I would imagine you will hope that you know as the games go on, the team will get stronger and better. Yeah, I mean, we, the, there's always room for improvement, as I said. You know, we've we've brought in five or six new players. Some of them have only been here two days, and some of them have been here four or five days. So they'll get used to the Premier League. They'll get used to the club, the way we want to play, and um, and hope hope that we can get a few better results than we got today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <coughs>